Okay, sometimes in life you do really dumb stuff. <laughs> Hi. Um, what I'm talking about, okay, I should probably turn it this way. So this self I unmolded, and well, as you can see, I had molded and it had soda ash on it. So I had this bright idea to wash it after I unmolded it. And now it's left like the white residue from the soap running down sideways. <sighs> Lordy B. Hey guys welcome back to Royal Appleberry. I am Kenny the Messy Sofa for those of you who are just joining my channel and if this is your first time I am so fucking happy you found me for those of you who are always here. Hey girl hey hey boy hey. So what are we doing today? Um I bought this impression map a couple of months ago and I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do but I got it I got it I got it. So I didn't have, it's always been in my mind, honestly, let me take that back. I bought this mat a couple of months ago. I knew what I wanted to do. I just wasn't sure how I was going to do it. There we go. That makes more sense. So I knew that I wanted a rose gold mica, which I did not have. So I made my own. Um, if you stir it up, now it looks more rose gold. I was going to use like a, um, like a copper because... I was looking at my bracelets and I'm like that would be good but it just didn't feel right and then Gabriel also suggested I use patchouli and I'm like yes but as I started making this soap I'm just like it just doesn't feel right so I'm gonna go with holiday sparkle from rustic essentials this smells so mother cracking good um, he said he can smell peach it smells like peachy a little bit of bubbliness um, a sweet a floral ah it's just amazing so those of you who saw me um review this in my uh rustic essentials 2019 holiday haul you know the notes on that so yeah now that i explain everything i'm going to go ahead and fill in my mat for those of you who don't know how i do that i made a video it's in the playlist you'll see it there um i think it was my lavender calendula lavender chamomile so yes um i'm gonna go ahead and get my mica in what am I saying? I'm going to get my lye water in <laughs> and then we're going to make some soap. I think everything is prepped and primed and ready to go. So this is just my soap um, batter with nothing in it. And then I'm going to um, put my, I'm going to do a mixture of black mica and activated charcoal for my black. Did I even tell you guys what color the base is going to be? If I did, now you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to do some sort of decoration on top. I haven't decided what. I just have to remind myself to matter of fact because I know I will forget I'm just gonna pour a little bit off back into this container that way I won't forget because I want to do a little bit of a decoration on top of the soap so now I got some black mica from TKB trading and I got some black activated charcoal from Wholesale supplies plus crafter's choice. Okay, so I'm going to use mostly black mica. And the reason why I'm, do, I'm mixing these, normally I use activated charcoal, but um, it's just like you could really just use um, black mica. I have a lot of black mica and I want to start using it up. And for me, black mica has a tendency to be a bit on the gray side. So I figure if I add a little... Oh, this is my new TD. I mean, activated charcoal. Add a little bit of activated charcoal. That should darken it. And give me the color that I want. That's why I'm doing this. Where is my old activated charcoal? Does not matter. But anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed in. I'm going to put my stick blender over here and give it one, two blast. And then I'll hand blend the rest. 
it doesn't need to be super fluid just because um, it's just going to be a swirl in it and then that's going to be it. I'm going to add just a hair more um, activated charcoal. It's nice and black, but it's really a gray. Don't want gray. Say hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. <laughs> I don't want it like jet black. I would love for it to be jet black, but then you'll have really dark suds. So we don't want that. Um, so now I'm going to scrape this down. I have like three, four, four spatulas over here. Like really, can you, why do you need so many spatulas? <laughs> I just washed all of these dishes. And, um, Again, I just want to thank you all if you're new to my channel. For those of you who are always here, you know, I am so fucking excited to always see you come back. And thank you for always being so cool and always supporting. I just adore you guys. I really do. Can't say that enough. And, um, I know I'm just starting. But if you like my vibe over here, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can get in the sack. What is the sack, you might ask? The sack is my stinking awesome crew. That is what I call my subscribers because you guys are just that stinking awesome. And um, if you've been around, you know that I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers for 2019. Um, and if you want to help me reach that goal, all you got to do is subscribe. So that is greatly appreciated. And be sure to hit the bell. Yeah, I know that's over the ass. But you know what? Why not? Because if you like me, you like me. So I'm going to let you guys see down in that mold. See what that looks like. If you can. Um, this is my tall skinny three cavity mold. Um, I'm only using one portion of it and um, I want to start making bigger batches of soaps but when I make impression mats that's kind of hard to do you know <laughs> so in my uh, big uh, loaf mold so yeah okay yeah let's get some fragrance in here while I'm stirring I just forgot I probably should put some fragrance in here that would be terrible this fragrance is just beautiful. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Oh, I love the way it smells. And I think it's going to work perfect with this. Um, because this soap can really, ooh, it smells so good. This can really go in uh, for the holidays and past the holidays. But I think holiday sparkle, it just really fits the theme of what I'm doing here. Uh, oh, that is beautiful. And as you can see, there is no rising. All my tiles have just vanished. <laughs> I don't even know where they went. I think, um, okay, yeah, I think they fell down into my, my little cabinet, my table here. All right, now let's figure out a way to pour this without pouring it on the table, as I've been doing the past few videos. So I think, I just want to line you guys up too so you can see. I think that's good. And because this is so fluid, I'm going to pour slowly oh that color yes 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 oh I almost got it out the mole I was close oh please fill up all the way because <laughs> I really want those pretty points on the top oh my so next time I use this I know I'm gonna have to cut the bottom of this uh, impression mat off so I can keep my pretty peaks on the top but however it's still gonna be nice so I'm gonna give this a little shoot leaf all right I had a massive mess to clean up <laughs> I just don't even know like what decided to go that wrong um 
But I got everything underway. So my idea, I'm just off to the side taking a pipette and filling it with um, the remainder of my cell batter. So the idea that's in my head that I'm hoping that I can execute. So what I, I did was took my skewer and just made a little impression in the soap. I know you guys can't see it. I just kind of drag little designs. They're all the same. Uh, through the soap. Just so I can act as like a stencil. And I don't, I really don't know how this is going to work. So I hope it does what I want. So far, this is quite runny. So, yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just making sure. And because it's runny, I don't know if I'm going to leave these like this. So, um, um, this has just taken a life, uh, on a life of its own. This is not what I pictured in my mind, but it works. You know, I just kind of like the, the freedom of freehand, so to speak. You know, you don't really plan it. It just kind of happens. And, um, I'm okay with that. So I do want to use up the rest of this. So I think that I'm going to do something like this. Nothing too crazy. I don't even know what this is going to end up looking like. I just need to use the rest of it. If I can get them to stop connecting, that would be great. so far um it is interesting it is very interesting but i like it so i just felt like the top had to be you know kind of nice because the sides are going to be really nice but i didn't want to do piping or any of that sort so um let me see I think I'm, yep, you know where I'm going. I'm going to get my Radically Rose um, Mica and put some of that on top. I feel like it will just really bring this together. I love that rose gold color. Okay, I don't know. I found this Fantasia. But then I got this gold reflex. Oh, I just don't know. So I think... I'm going to try a little bit of, ooh, yes, a little bit of Fantasia, see how that's going to work out for me, how she's going to treat me. Well, if I can get to go in the bowl, <laughs> stop spraying all over the table. Only thing about this stuff. It really goes airborne so just kind of be mindful if you're going to use this while you're getting it on your product it will go right up your nose all right perfect done 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 so i'm going to take you guys off the tripod and give you a close-up and then we'll head over to all the right cutting. so this is what we have on top i am super excited to see what the side's going to look like 
I just really love this. I think this is going to be a fantastic looking soap. And if you guys like it so far, be sure to give a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated for all my hard work. And stay tuned because the cutting is going to come up, i say, right about now. So, um, welcome to Oreo Appleberry. <laughs> I am Kitty the Messy Soaper, and sometimes I do really stupid stuff, like now. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out before I keep messing with it. When I don't like things, I keep trying to make it better. And sometimes it just makes it worse, so... I'm going to go ahead and get this soap cut. This is the end that I had it sitting on so I can dry sideways. Oh, it's nice and hard on the inside. So there's a couple of things about this soap that I did not like. Um, I don't like the black, which turned out more gray than black. So I think I'll go back to using activated charcoal to do my black instead of mica. Um, it was just experimenting because I had saw someone do it before. It looked really nice, but it just didn't work for me. And then my rose gold, it did turn rose gold. Um... Let's see. Yeah, you guys can see that. Like, it matches my copper bangles, which is a rose gold tone. But, um, I don't know. It's just not giving me the pizzazz that I was expecting in my head. But I'm always expecting something that's not really possible. <laughs> and so making in my head. So, before we go on bashing this soap, we're going to go ahead and cut it up and see what we got. So, yeah. Um, the rose gold really did not show up in here too well so do I love this soap no but do I love the sides yes absolutely um should I leave stuff alone yes even more so <laughs> but it's okay um the, the color might even pop out and it's still early it was me cutting but the color might just uh tend to darken through the cure process we'll see I don't know why these soap bars feel so big but they're no bigger than I just cut another soap so there's still one inch but yeah, so there's not a lot going on on the inside, but like I said, it's okay because sometimes less is more, especially when you do designs on a side. Sorry about that. I, um, I've been cutting a couple of soaps today because I think I had like five, five, five. Yeah, I have five soaps that need to be cut today. But it's like every time I start filming, people call me. <laughs> so that was Gabe. But, um, yeah. Anywho, I don't even remember what I was saying before the phone rang. But yeah, if you like this soap, please be sure to give a thumbs up. It is so greatly appreciated. Thank you for tuning in. For those who are always here, you know I love you. If you want to join this sack, what is that? That's the stinking awesome crew. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. And I'm also doing a goal for 2019 to reach 50,000 subscribers. If you would like to help me do that, it's absolutely free. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. And just like that, boom, you're in. <laughs> you're in the sack. And we have a good time over here. Like I said, we talk about everything. Yes, this is a soap making channel, but I share funny stories or ideas and thoughts with you that I got that I have because you guys are my YouTube family. So that's what I do. But um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Hit that bell if you want to get uh, notifications whenever I post a new video, uh, which is weekly. I'm thinking, should I cut this back off or just leave it? I think that. 
I think that I'm playing with fire. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so what I'll do is just when I get my new acrylic planer in, I'll go ahead and just plan that back off. But until then, I'll see you guys over at the next making video. And love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome and amazing everything you do. See you then. Bye.